In this video, we're going to go over the operation of Command CNC's user interface. If your controller is off and you try and double click on it, you will get an error message. The error message is basically saying your controller is off and could not connect. Just select close, turn your controller on, and double click again. It will then open Command CNC's interface is fairly simple all you have to do is create your home your machine create your work offset run your file there's a lot of things that we can do to manipulate the cut itself but first thing remove e-stop if you cannot remove e-stop one of the emergency stop buttons is probably pressed bring a file in select open find your file you can select recently used drop it in there we go Take and drive your machine back to your homing switches. Home X, home Y, drive your machine over top of your work, your plate. Hit home Z, zero Z, zero X, zero Y. Get everything in position, make sure your part's gonna fit. You can double check and see if your part's gonna fit as you drive it around on the machine. You can verify that it does fit on the, the part. And it can be one part or it can be an entire job. So this job you would drive your machine in the lower left corner, create your work offset. I'm still thinking about it. Create your work offset and you're good to go. Now if this is red, this means that your job does not fit for your current work location. You need to drive it back into the corner of your material zero your X, zero your Y. Once that is accomplished, the, these red numbers will then disappear, let you know that it will fit on the table. So that's still red. I need to move my plate further. And then I can drive my machine back. As you can see, I moved my Y point 10 inches further back. Select zero Y. Now I do not have the red letting me know that yes, it does fit. If it's red, it means it's off of the table. So from here, a neat little thing is a manual button. You can adjust your feed override. Anything below 15% will turn your digital torch light off. You can make it cut faster. Beware. You'll know when it's not cutting through because it'll throw a lot of sparks and it won't actually cut through the plate. You can hit reset and it will then reset itself. Max velocity, you can take and turn that down to slow the cut speed. The jog speed right here, I slow this down and I can then move with my arrow keys at a much slower rate as noticed by the feed rate here. When I move that, it gets faster. That will help you dial in your homing positions and vice versa. Skip touch offs, what skip touch off does is essentially it doesn't look for the material it just lowers and fires and that's fine as long as your material is not warping. Now load material, once you hit load material it will rock it back into these positions. Now I like to have it a quarter of an inch away from my homing switch and this is very important if you have your Z at zero it will lower down to zero and then try and move, probably colliding with something on the table. Once this is selected, it will then shift back towards your home position. Manual data input is essentially where if you want to take your machine and move it to the said location, G1, X0, Y, you then type that in or select it, hit the check mark, and it will move automatically. Now, if you cannot move your machine, as in the keys seem to do nothing, you need to select this. It will then give you basically the authority to run the machine back. This is very common when in the G-code itself, and I hit my buttons, nothing happens, but you're scrolling through your G-code. You need to select your auto button, you then regain control of your machine. Diagnostics is also another very handy tab. Notice how it'll show you what inputs are selected. If I 
hit the e-stop button, it will then produce an input for that as well. Depending on which button I put, that's a different e-stop button. Very simple. Digital torchlight, you can turn it to manual and you can automatically, while cutting, turn the digital torchlight on or off. Messages basically just shows you if there was any error codes, vice versa. This is generally all set in sheet cam. Um, feel free to play with it, but it's not very important. Fixture offsets, not so much a thing unless a guy is going to create a fixture on his table, a permanent <laughs> fixture, and go from there. So that is pretty much it.